Well, we got another flick that was supposed to be in theaters on this t this day today. Well, you know what I'm trying to tell you. It's Scoob. I just finished watching a little while ago. But is this flick worth getting Scooby Snacks and what have you to watch? Or is this worth saying Scooby Dooby do not watch this? Find out right now in this spoiler-free review. Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name is Duel, better known to y'all as the Big D. And this time around, I bring to you a review of the just now released Warner Animation Group flick, Scoob. The film is directed by Tony Cervone, and uh, of course, it's based on the, the ever popular Hanna Barbera cartoon series of Scooby Doo, which, of course, last year celebrated its 50th anniversary. Anyway, it's intended to be the first installment in a series of films set within a Hanna Barbera shared cinematic universe. Well, at first I didn't know what to think of it, since we have different voiceovers, except for Frank Welker, who once again voices the title character, like he's already done for like almost the last, for almost 20 years now, since Don Misik passed away uh, before the Scooby-Doo live-action movie came out, and we may have come back in what's new Scooby-Doo, but anyway, Welker's joined by... Will Forte, as well as Mark Wahlberg, Jason Isaacs, Gina Rodriguez, Zac Efron, Amanda Seyfried, Kiersey Clemens, Ken Jeong, and Tracy Morgan. Oh yeah, plus a special uh, appearance by Simon Cowell. As himself. Now, this will be spoiler free, so I'm not really going so I'm not gonna give every detail on this or anything, but I will tell you what I thought that what this was. Now of course we get to see how Shaggy got to meet Scooby Doo and what have you. I mean, even though that was done in live action a few well, like over a decade ago in Scooby-Doo the Mystery Begins, but this is much more different. It kind of has a little slight feel of of a pup named Scooby-Doo, almost. Not quite. Well, and it gets to me Fred, Velma, and Daphne. Well, they've been solving mysteries after they encountered their first ghost, but their greatest mystery comes together when... When it comes in a turn of events, when they run into the superhero, the Blue Falcon, and its canine companion, Dioma, Dog Wonder, who is trying to prevent arch nemesis Dick Dastardly from causing a global dog apocalypse by unleashing the great Cerberus on the world. That's just the story, but I'm not giving more of this story because that would be spoiler. Would be 110% spoilers. <laughs> so, I will say I did like this. I mean, well, even though I much like the old school Scooby Doo and the old school Diamond, but I gotta give these the way the characters look and the way and the, the voice acting. Now, I do have a slight bit of a negative though. Which, I'll get to that in a little bit. Now, of course, I really loved Frank Welker back at Scooby-Doo. Now, Will Forte, you voiced Shaggy. Not too bad, though. I mean, well, he was the only other character that looked just like the old school Shaggy we all knew and loved. Now, next up we have Gina Rodriguez. Most of y'all know her as from the now defunct... CW series Jane the Virgin, and also the voice of Carmen San Diego in the Netflix cartoon, doing Velma. And that's a pretty good job. And Zach Efron's Fred, well, a lot of people didn't know what to think of him, but 
I mean, he does all, you know, he does a pretty good job. I mean, even though he's in a different get up on, well, which would be the second time since the What's New Scooby Doo cartoon series. And a man, and a man decide for his Daphne, well, not too bad. Uh, just pretty good. Um, now, I, Jason Isaacs, most of y'all know him as Lucius Malfoy from the, from the Harry Potter franchise. And also Captain Hook from the 2003 Peter Pan movie. He does pretty good as Dick Dastardly. I mean, we actually do get to see a snickering hound muddly, but I won't tell you how, where that's going to wind up. You need to see the movie because that's spoiling. Uh, Mark Wahlberg as Blue Falcon, not too bad. Well, which that's my actual slight negative with the movie because, well... I do like the way Blue Falcon looks, and I do appreciate Mark Wahlberg playing, but Blue Falcon isn't quite like what you think is. Kind of like what the Blue Falcon that I remembered long ago. Uh, kind of a little, well, I don't know how to say this. I don't want to, like I said, this is a spoiler-free review. Watch the movie, alright? Enough said. <sighs> now, Kerosy Clemens voices D.D. Sykes, who... Unfortunately, I didn't know who this character was, but after doing some research, I found out she was named after the Dee Dee from Captain K-Man, the Teen Angels, which that was another slight negative I have, because unfortunately, we don't get to see Brenda and Taffy, the other two. Well, I'm sure we'll see them in a, in a future Hanna-Barbera movie. Now, Tracy Morgan as Captain K-Man... I gotta say, not bad. Well, not quite as good as Mel Blank was, but I, he does a good job with doing the, the yelling out the hero's name and what have you in a good way. I mean, not quite like the way Mel Blank does, but he still does a good job of yelling out the. Well, you get that. You get the point. If you've seen Captain Caveman, where if it's the Teen Angels or if it's the Solo. Captain came in that was shown with the Flintstones, or Captain came in son from the Flintstone kids. You get the idea. And Ken Jong as Dial Mud. I didn't know what to think of him, but well, he wasn't there at all. I mean, unlike the old school Dial Mud, he doesn't malfunction. But even because even though I do like Frank Welker's performance as that character in the cartoon, the old cartoon series. Well, I'm going to say, Junk's not bad. But, despite my slight nitpicks, I still love the movie. The story was, well, kind of pretty good. Pretty good in ways. And then, like I said, I love the cast performances. I mean, even though they were almost hit or miss, but they were more hit and what have you than miss. So, I absolutely did Love Scoob. This is probably one of the coolest Scooby-Doo anime features I have seen in the last few years or so. Even though I have seen some recent Scooby movies. But who knows how this will impact on my Scooby-Doo anime movie ranking. Because Scooby-Doo in the Real Life and Werewolf is my favorite Scooby-Doo anime feature of them all. Could this actually be it? We'll see when I do a ranking sometime down the road. But now the question is, would I recommend Scoob? Yes, definitely. Yeah, this is a good movie. It's got a mixed response, which that's understandable. At least that's better than what they gave for the two live action theatrical flicks. And what have you. So definitely check out. You can buy or rent on Prime and, and Voodoo. Or just buy it from, from somewhere, okay? But I rented it, though. But anyway. But Scoob is a good movie. War Animation Group is good. So I'm hoping for the best that we will see a Hanna-Barbera Stimac Universe continue. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I got to see so many Hanna Barbera references in this movie. Not just not just various cartoon characters, characters in Miami, which you'll see what they are when you see the movie. Plus, but the other thing is you'll see names of familiar people, last names or other connections to people who actually worked on the old school Scooby Doo long ago. 
Enough said. But anyway, I'm gonna be giving I'm giving Scoob four and a half stars. That's my score I give on Letterbox. If you wanna find me on there. But anyway, what did you think of Scoob? Please feel free to tell me in the comment section below. If you like the video, like, click the like button, subscribe to my channel as well, and be a part of the Big D Nation. Tomorrow, I'll be reviewing Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed. And, of course, I'll also be doing my Saturday morning TV log of, of the Tom and Jerry Kids. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Now, if you would like some more Scooby-Doo be fun, hey, just check out these other videos. In the upper left-hand corner is my Saturday morning TV log of Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? The upper right-hand corner is my review of Scooby-Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf. And the bomb left-hand corner is my review of the live-action theatrical Scooby-Doo that I recently did. And the right-hand corner is the, the bottom right-hand corner is the button you can click to subscribe. Thank you again for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya!